Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Let's see what we get in the recycling tubes to figure out if we have like a, an interesting run here. Well, I don't know about interesting run, but I finally have a good weapon. I feel like I've been trying to, to get good weapons <laughs> in these recycling tubes for a million years, and now I finally have a, an automatically piercing bow. And it's the good bow too. Oh my god, it's just so... It feels like cheating after what I've been suffering lately, trying to do a tactics run and just getting like absolute trash. <laughs> it like legitimately feels like cheating. It's so good. Oh man. This is what I needed. I just need, I just need a good tactics run, hopefully to... To allow me to flawless the uh, the lighthouse enemies and then you know I'll go from there I'll go back to the collector I'll go back to you know trying to figure out how the heck I'm supposed to flawless him on a run which is ridiculous but uh, you know let me let me take this oh god maybe let me take this into the fight with the lighthouse enemies and then get point blank and then just murder them all please please game <clears throat> oh man. Also, please don't give me the Santa, Santa outfit for once. <laughs> Awful lot of like Santa in, uh, in uh, snowman outfits. Just a little bit distracting. Just, just, just a little bit distracting. Not much, but just a little bit distracting. But I'm just so much more comfortable with, uh, with a weapon like this. Dude, if we could also get an upgrade immediately, that would be amazing. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't see anything, that's fine. I was tempted, by the way, to take the, uh... I was tempted to take, you missed? You should have definitely hit me there. I was tempted to take the barrel launcher as a tactics weapon. I don't really think it's any good at all. You know what, if you're going tactics, maybe this is the prime opportunity to take the hunter's grenade. And it makes so much sense, and I'm sad that it took me this long to realize that this is the prime time to take the Hunter's Grenade. Low health, but you want as many stats as possible to get the damage that you need to kill things quickly. This is the perfect time for this. It's three grand, but I'm more interested in weapons than I am, like, whether or not I'm gonna be able to hold another skill. You know, all my, all my crap is bad anyways, you know? I have nothing good equipped right now. What do I care if, um... Oh, God. What, if, what do I care if... Okay, how did you miss me? Okay, well, we're just gonna recycle that immediately. Anyways. Yeah. My endeavor is to flawless that damn lighthouse fight. And I've been so close many times. Maybe not so close, but I've been close many times. I've just been unable to, uh, to land the finishing je ne sais quoi on the fight to avoid the fire or like one attack from Calliope. That's the thing that always seems to get me. Or Euterpe. Derpy's kind of a jerk. Hey, we actually almost got to two minutes. If I really wanted to rush, we could, but... Shots pierce all enemies, creates a cloud. More damage when you're near it, more damage to a stunned target. It's not that bad. I think I'd prefer the oil grenade just so that I can kill um, a multitude of weak enemies immediately, and I want to keep the hunter's grenade too. 400 to 1300 HP. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty meaningful. Yeah, shots pierce the first target. <clears throat> that's like a that's a very very meaningful amount of health. I mean, that's three scrolls. If we had a legendary weapon, it would be plus 30% damage on that legendary weapon. You know, it's it's definitely worth it. Okay, just lots of food on this run. Apparently that's what this seed is gonna be, just uh, infinite food, infinite healing. 
See, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the grenade to get a kill on weak enemies, flying enemies. And then, um, it just lights things on fire and then all the, the clusters that were underneath are dead, all the big boys. Okay, I did not really mean for it to go like this. Luckily we do have piercing though, at least. Goodbye. Doesn't seem like a lot of damage now, but it's, it'll get the job done. Yeah. Well, there's gonna be something over here. There always is. When there's one rat, you know there's gonna be a scorpion as well. They have a symbiotic relationship. Loving to kill the beheaded and eating his corpse over and over again for an eternity. It's not a very good way to live, honestly. It probably sucks for the beheaded. <laughs> I haven't thought about that before, but yeah, he's kind of like... He's kind of just dying over and over again for eternity here. It's not, not exactly the best situation to be in. Perpetually forced to fight his way out to the uh, to the collector fight, to the hand of the hand of the queen fight. I guess I don't I don't really understand fully the uh, the lore and like the end game cutscenes of the game. Like, what exactly happens to this guy? Is he actually stuck in this eternity forever? It's kind of not exactly made clear. You know, he kills the collector and then he goes back in time. Uh, because of the, uh, the, 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 the timekeeper messing up with the time stream. Yes, there is time travel in Dead Cells. <laughs> but like, at that point, what's going on? Is he just stuck forever for an eternity? I mean, you know, I guess there's worse places you could be. You could be actually dead. He's not actually dead, he's, he's ahead. You would say that at least he has a head on anyone else. Ho ho ho! Or you, you know, couldn't say that. You could say it a little bit more clearly. <laughs> Run. He's kind of a cursed unheaded. Yeah. Cursed reheaded. That took way too many shots to kill you. I would not have expected you to, to, to be that tanky, Mr. Scorpion. I really hoped that there was two of you or something. I know that there wasn't, but... In my heart, I kind of wish it to be true. Lacerating Aura has been pretty good. It poisons the enemy, and then uh, the weak enemies that die will, inf will infect that poison onto other enemies, I think, so it's not that bad. But it does do what I want it to do, which is kill all these freaking birds that are hard to hit with a, with a bow. Wish it lasted a little bit longer. That would be a cool upgrade, I think. Like, as you upgraded it, it got more damage, but then also maybe it lasted a little bit longer so that I could just run through all the enemies. Hey, Quancho! Hello, welcome, and thank you very much for the sub. Have a have a merry caca to you as well. Stay, you know, stay safe, stay warm out there. I'm still waiting for the snow to start. It hasn't started yet. I, I hear it will start soon. And then I'll probably be, uh, be locked in. I'm probably like hyping it up way too much. Like it's probably just gonna be like a small flurry and then it'll be over and it'll just be like a complete waste of everyone's time. And here I am like, man, I don't know. If I lose power, I won't be able to do any recording or anything. <laughs> Which would be kind of funny. Um, where is it snowing for you? I am in New England, and there's gonna be apparently a big old massive snowstorm soon, but it hasn't started yet. It's gonna be 50 here tomorrow. Well, way to rub it in. No, I, I actually much prefer the the colder temperatures, honestly. I, I like the, uh, the cold. Helps the computer to run better, helps me to run a little bit better. You're in Omaha. That would explain it. 
The lay's cleared. Okay. Now, I do have to deal with a horrible scorpion. Didn't go that badly. He just dropped a normal shield. <laughs> I guess they're not, you know, enemies are not guaranteed to drop amulets. Or the elites are anyways. They're just highly incentivized to, so, you know, I guess we can just accept that, uh, you know, he didn't drop what we wanted him to drop, and that's fine, that's, that's fine, it's okay. I haven't seen any challenge runes. I've been pretty good about finding them lately, I think, but haven't seen any quite yet. Lacerating aura, worse than the one that we have, goodbye. And this is gonna be our exit, no teleporter. All right, down to the sewers, and by sewers I mean prison. Hopefully it's gonna be a good prison this time instead of a horrible prison like we've been having. And I blame me, I blame you, but also me. Does it rain a lot where you live? You know, in the, in the spring it definitely rains a lot here, but it's not been raining all that much lately, and it hasn't been very, it didn't rain that much this season. It was a little bit drier than usual, I think. It's fair. But we do get a lot of snow when it snows, which is which is fun, because it's nice and pretty and it's wonderful and I enjoy it. Okay, sell this. Doing a lot of selling, because I want a lot of money. This is gonna be a money focused floor here. I'm not gonna go sell that, that was a little bit too far away, for, even for me. Let's leave the floor. We've got good equipment. We still are rolling this same bow that we were rolling earlier. We'll probably roll this bow for a long time. And that's okay. A piercing nerves of steel is good enough. Doesn't matter what level it is. It could be level one. I would still take it. I would still love it. Snake fangs. Not looking for melee. But we'll hold it because it doesn't matter. And if we ever do want to roll snake fangs, we have the capability of doing so. Although, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like the DPS on the bow is like triple that of the snake fangs, though. Okay. So disengagement's active. We don't need ammo. Point blank is actually a fantastic skill, I'm realizing. So I think we'll just take it immediately. We don't always fire from point blank, but when we do, we want it to kill. And especially bosses, like the tentacles will be close to the tentacles to trigger this. We'll be close to the watcher at times to tri trigger this. Now, I think... I think an ice grenade actually does help more than the hunter's grenade, but we'll leave the hunter's grenade on the ground in case we want to come back to it. Hello? Okay. Now we got a bit of a problem on our hands. One enemy remaining. Okay, d d does, it, does it have to be you guys though? Okay. <laughs> as, long as, as long as I don't die in the process from the curse. Well, I mean, I'd rather not die at all, let's be honest. Okay, whatever, it was a one rat. Okay, I got kind of comboed there. But there is food. We're still on disengagement, we don't need to go quite yet. Man, that was a little rough though. Again, part of just getting combo killed. Hey, don't forget you have a shield too. Just like, pop the shield if you feel the need. It's a spike shield too. Or heck, just um, hold it if you feel like you just wanna block. I always forget that that's an effect of the shields. Yes, they can block. Okay, well, I guess we could just do that. Okay, please go. Please die. Okay. 
That's not what I wanted to do there. They're, they're actually extremely easy to parry, and I think I, I just like, trick myself into, but we didn't trigger disengagement. I think I tricked myself into thinking that they're harder than they actually are. Man, I really kind of dislike this area that we've got for ourselves here. I know we kind of have a little bit of a backtracking area, but as long as we get the teleport, we can always just teleport back. Okay, random skills. I, I like the skills that we have right now. Maybe not the Hunter's Grenade ever so much, but uh, you know, it's good enough for the time being. He got frozen in his block animation? <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'm starting to realize that maybe the bow uh, could use a little bit of an upgrade at some point. Did we get ammo back? Arrow stuck in enemies come back from the ice grenade. Hey, you know what? That's a good ability to know about. Damage from projectiles reduced 75%. Man, that'll help a lot. Still have disengagement. As long as we have disengagement, you know, we can we can be a little aggressive. Just be aware that we might have to go back for the uh, the heal at some point. He turned around? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you freaking. I mean, I, I actually, I know I need to go back, but I also need to go kill this thing so I can kill these guys so I can go back. You know, there's a bit of a catch-22 here, which is that I can't freaking do what I want to do. Okay, now we'll go back. <laughs> Unless the, this is the teleporter. This is the teleporter. All right, we'll go back. Well, I, I almost can't believe that we lived through this. Um, tell you what. Let's get like two and a half times our HP, and then push forward here a little bit. What a, what a horrible floor. <laughs> Ugh. I think that um, I'm not good enough at dead cells to keep rocking uh, no health builds. I think I gotta start, you know, taking a couple of, of early scrolls and dumping them into HP, or just holding on to the hunter's grenade. And as I've been trying more of these, um, you know, builds where I try to go maximum damage, early game, I take a lot of damage. You get hit once and you're freaking dead. Okay, kind of forgot that this was even a thing. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> Damage from projectiles reduced 75%. Poisons enemies that wound you, inflammable oil, find a bomb on a dodge roll. It, it doesn't matter. They're all basically the same. Same trash. Trashy lit. I do like lacerating ore, but it does require me to get close. So I also enjoy the barnacle trap. I think that maybe we could re-roll and maybe find something a little bit better. You know, Tesla coil, hate the interruption, but it does deal very good damage. Let's see what else we can get here. Smoke bomb could be interesting, maybe a little bit later. I didn't really take anything, did I? Could take a turret, hide behind the turret, let it do some damage. I'm gonna keep the lacerating aura. I mean, the big problem right now on the run, as a, you know, this floor accepted. It's still having to kill 
small, numerous enemies, which we can now do with the Lacerating Aura. So I'm gonna still keep it. I don't see anything else worth grabbing, unfortunately. No secret room runes. I don't think we found one on the last floor. Let's get the heck out and pick up. A death orb would be fun, but it's the wrong color here. So we have four. Oh, right, Hunter's Grenade. I was wondering why it felt like I had more stats than I should. Even Fry says, I'm stealing the shop theme if I ever run a D&D game and need tavern music. The shop does have pretty good music, doesn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Dude, this run needs some heavy upgrades. Maybe we should have taken No Mercy instead of uh, Point Blank on that last one. Astronomy, pretty decent. Necromancy, not that much of a health gain, but it is enough that it's probably warranted. Even more so than something like No Mercy. We're doing so much physical damage, No Mercy doesn't help that much, but um, yeah, being able to heal 1% 1% on three kills should get us back up to 50% health pretty soon. Oh, Jesus. I, I actually saw, I saw that tentacle, and so I didn't see the nearby tentacle. But again, hey, that's what necromancy is for. We've got a few points into survival. We'll be, we'll be able to get some health out of this. Let's remember to go back for that elite later. I just want to, don't want to do it right now, because uh, it's an elite. Well, there's necromancy really starting to ball out of control. Thank you very much for that. Lots of scrolls. Keep giving me survival. We don't want to get the food with survival. Oh my god. Didn't even see the trap. We don't want to get the food with, um... Don't hit me. With necromancy. We just want to kill things. And we're actually scaling that up a little bit, so it's 0.39% per kill now. And we're fast. And there's an elite. <laughs> there's a lot of elites to go back on on this floor. That um, tainted flask mutation that you can get as a brutality, it would be so much better if you could actually get health flasks back on the fly instead of it just being your last flask. Okay, kind of got a little stuck there on the wall. As as is, I just don't see myself ever wanting to use that, or ever even thinking that I want to use it, you know? Tainted Flask could be a mutation. If it gave you health flask back, like if you had three, it could give you a fourth flask. I could see myself rolling that on like a tactics run, you know? You fight a lot of elites in this game. To have the ability to get free flasks out of fighting 12 elites or something, it's not a bad trade-off for a mutation slot. Okay, what do we have? Skills. I like the skills. Do they pay the bills? I don't know. Still feel like we need something to uh, really help us out on the uh, Watcher fight here, because I don't think this loadout is perfect for the Watcher. It's good for the tentacles, I think, with the um, the bow. Watcher itself might be a little bit, a little bit tough. Hey, my late, my late stairs increased, guys. Haven't heard that one before. Hey, it increased again. <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. Hey, get out of here. How did, you, how did I not hit you? Or rather, how did I not kill you? Hopefully, that oil stays forever. It makes you easy to see. Let's make sure we also leave enemies alive while we explore in case we find a good chest that we want to, you know, take a curse on. Scavenge Bombard. That's how we're going to deal with the tentacles. So we're going to leave that, we'll take it before we leave, but let's keep the grenade for now. Lady Arneen, hi and welcome to the stream. How's it going today? 
You son of a... Oh god, everything lived? I didn't kill anything, but I lived myself. Turns out, I'm happy with that. That's acceptable in my book. I lived. Please die, you. <laughs> oh, come on! Jerk. We gotta go back for some food if there is any. Um, there is some, okay. Oh, God! It's okay, he's not gonna hit me. He might be there waiting for me when I come back, but we gotta grab this food real quick. Okay, he's actually here right now? Didn't expect that. Well, that was rude. <laughs> I mean, that was just an annoying encounter, but I, I thought I would be able to kill the uh, mushroom in one hit, and I didn't. It caused me some issues. Okay. Good stuff. Health is fine now. It, it's getting better, anyways. Um, oh, Jesus. I don't really want pyrotechnics. It might be good on the um, on the watcher fight, but magic missiles is what I'm looking for, something that aims upwards. Nah. 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 You know what I should do? What I really should do is um, Disable items I don't like in the game, and then we can have more runs that have more of the items that I'm looking for. Because you can do that. You can you can disable like half the items from appearing in the game, and you will still have the ability to get cells, uh, get boss cell unlocks, achievements, and whatnot. You don't. You have quite a lot of control in what you want to spawn. So please go down. So it is something worth considering if you. Uh, really want to, you can just prevent like all the bad bows from spawning so that when you choose tactics it only gives you like one of four possibilities or something. Just same with the snowman costume. That is tempting. No one needs the snowman costume. But I like having the, I like having the item pool filled but you know, it would certainly, what the hell? <laughs> it would certainly give you more uh, of what you're looking for if you could choose it. Okay, well, we did take a lot of damage. Hey, you know what we could do? Let enemies spawn, kill them one at a time, and then we'll get necromancy plays off of them. It's 0.39%. Three enemies for 1% HP is uh, not the best in the world. Oh, come on! <laughs> Tentacle, uh, jerk? We don't have one-shot protection anymore. Unfortunately. Was there any food? There was food. It's cursed, but you know what? I'd rather get it. Okay, well, you know, you'll still be there in a second. I guess I could just like wait for enemies to spawn. They're spawning at a, you know, pretty prodigious pace. Dying in one hit, giving me a little bit of health back. Prevents me from picking up that cursed food. And you do get malaise reduction by killing these enemies. A very little bit. It's a very interesting um, mechanic that you can heal off of them because it, it's, it does feel a little bit like infinite HP, doesn't it? Like I could just sit here forever, let enemies spawn in, be at full health, go to the watcher fight. Well, go to the, go to half health before the watcher fight anyways. I don't think they can spawn here. Gotta go down. He's like the one that you gotta watch out for though. We've actually reduced our malaise doing this because the malaise is going up so slowly that we're reducing it by killing the enemies that are spawning. So, this is how you would cheese it if you really wanted to cheese it. 
And good god, I am looking for a victory here today. I want to flawless those damn lighthouse enemies. I will cheese the hell out of this game. By the way, um, your malaise is increased? Or maybe it's just going down. Whatever, I'll, I'll just get to 25% so we can at least um, not die to one shot. Actually, disengagement is back, so we don't even need to do this. Because we're going to flawless the, the fight anyway, so. I guess that's the other thing that you can do is just, you know, cheese the heck out of disengagement, just stand still for two minutes. Hey, you're supposed to be dead. You're not supposed to be dead. So I believe, oh, you're dead. I was gonna say, I thought that that might be the uh, last enemy. Maybe not. Is there gonna be a lot of enemies in here? Nope. War Spear, Ice Armor. Okay, take Ice Armor over the Hunter's Grenade for now. We'll at least grab this stuff. Sell the stuff that we don't want. Is there really no teleporter here? All right. Whenever a game introduces teleporters and then they take them away from you, that's uh, that's when you notice that they're gone and you're like, oh man, teleporters are really convenient. <laughs> I wish there were more of them. Okay, there's a couple of enemies, re enemies remaining. Scroll fragments um, and elites. Let's deal with these elites because there's at least two of them over here. Three... Scrolls. I will take the three scrolls over the two scrolls. And then what the heck is over here? I haven't done this in a long time, but the item is almost never worth it. It's a turret, which um, could be decent. Wasn't there a cannon? Yeah, there was a cannon bombard that I actually really wanted to grab. So let's um, let's go get that. I'm not going to go through all of that just for the one turret. I would if I wasn't. Recording, but I gotta I gotta draw the line somewhere. We've actually gone down in malaise by such an absurd degree for doing this, <laughs> and this should be malaise reduced to zero. No, we still have malaise, huh? It's kind of surprising sometimes. I don't really know when the malaise is gonna actually be uh, cleared. I don't know why I'm doing this again, but it's just two dodge rolls. Ah, this is the other one. Luckily, you just kind of stood there and let me shoot you. Extra jump, oil. We have absolutely no sort of bleed synergy, so who cares about the oil? The oil. more enemies left to kill. I'm just looking for like simple stuff. Food, money. Thank you, Aura. I <laughs> just had to give myself a, a, a minute. All right, well, you're gonna die. Let's just do like this. Flamethrower turret, no! I'm okay. Moonstone amulet. Don't want it. Now, are you gonna do a sweep or are you gonna try to hit me? You're gonna try to hit me. I wonder if there's a way that you can trigger them how you want them to be triggered. Like, I wonder if there's a way that you can walk over the tentacles and then they will try to come up to hit you as opposed to sweeping you, because the sweep is the hard part. Sweep is the annoying part of that. I've already done the chest room. I've not done this. Got it done though. Didn't didn't get poisoned. Just ask politely. <laughs> I don't think they would listen. I, I don't think they speak English. They probably just speak a weird form of worm. Seems to be a, a common language around here. Okay. Keep going up. I'm I'm just uh 
I'm probably taking my time a little bit too much here, but... I'm also just making sure I didn't forget anything, because, again, I'm, I really want to get this run to be the run. There were a lot of enemies here. Did we get them all? I think I did. Screw you, buddy. Uh, and then we want to get to the chest. So let's go to the chest. I'll pick up Cannon Bombard. We'll get rid of Lacerating Aura. That way we have Ice Armor and a Cannon, which should be very good for us. And then we will get the Scroll Fragment, get the health, and then leave. The Watt, we have uh, relatively low malaise, which is nice. The Watcher fight shouldn't be that bad. And another scroll right before the fight is totally, totally fine by me. Okay, so 50% HP. Nothing here that we want. I might even use Snake Fangs, honestly, for part of the fight. Because if the Watcher's above me, the Snake Fangs would be... Uh, would make it a lot easier to hit the Watcher, but admittedly, I am kind of just interested in shooting it with the bow a whole bunch. We got enough ammo. It's not really that mobile. We fire one shot at a time. You know, we don't have to keep it in our, in our line of sight. So I think we're okay just to stick with the bow, at least for now. So let's do this. Um, mutations are fine. No mercy would be great, but I'd rather not spend the money on re-rolling because I really like necromancy. So the cannon is not gonna do much here, but it'll do a lot on the tentacles. I, I popped my own armor. I actually forgot that I activated it. Well, I didn't forget. I thought I actually misactivated it. So I wanted to ensure that it was activated. Cannon got a shot in. Got a few uh, at point blanks, I think. Okay. Cannon. Oh, freaking hell! I don't even know what happened there. I don't even know how I got hit. Like, I thought, I didn't think I was in the position of the, the tentacle. Whatever. Just accept that uh, the Watcher is a heavily annoying boss to me. <laughs> I feel like I need to practice the Watcher or something. Give me my arrows back, you son of a gun. You son of a Watcher! I guess we could just parry. Definitely want to stay close to the cannon so it still fires. Whoa, okay, thank you, cannon. Should have should have been using the ice armor uh, earlier. Although it did save me a hit there. But we've already lost our uh, flawless, unfortunately. Hey, get back here. Oh my god, could you stop, like, moving around? <laughs> I know you're at, like, your last bit of HP, but, like, it would help me out a lot if you could stop moving around. We only got hit once, and I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, but we got him. Do, 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 do. What do we have? Balance blade is garbage. We got a scroll, put it into tactics. Oil grenade. Don't really want it. Now, yes, we're gonna go Slumbering Sanctuary. We have a good build for the Sanctuary, believe it or not. I might wanna grab a uh, smoke bomb so I can maybe more freely walk around and one-shot certain enemies, but this is not a bad build for the location. 
We have 50% HP, it's a perfect amount. Man, the freaking Watcher tentacles <laughs> every time. I'm a lot better at the Watcher body itself, but uh, the tentacles still get me because they, they just have a little bit of randomness associated with them, which, uh, which tends to cause me some hits. Those freaking jerks. Okay. Random skills. I don't actually feel the need to really replace our skills right now, except for maybe a, a wave of denial, especially in this level, could be good. Random weapons. I don't like the heavy crossbow, it's garbage. Parry shield, we're gonna... We're not gonna need it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun dun. Ice crossbow is apparently pretty good, but it does less damage than our current bow. Gilded Yumi could be very interesting. <laughs> Let's reroll, see what we get. Just a whole lot of nothing. So disappointing. I gotta feel like. Oh, good. I gotta go back through this. I gotta feel like. It's not just me who's like heavily disappointed with these shops lately. I guess that's the problem with having just a ton of items. Maybe I should, like, at some point, get rid of some items in the game. Like, stop them from spawning in so I can get uh, the items that I prefer a little bit more often. An elite would be, or uh, a legendary would, would be nice here. Oh god, I saw that coming. You did kill yourself, and you gave me a scroll. And I don't mind getting hit, because I know that we're gonna heal, we're gonna heal, um, Eventually, anyways. Okay. Little rude. Okay. Dude, I see the uh, the lighting effect around those golems, and I get really scared. <laughs> I get really scared of those guys. Um, so there's a chest in here. Probably not our cursed chest, but it could be uh, cursed. So let's go through the door, see what's here. No enemies, just a chest. It's kind of hoping it was enemies so that if they're, uh, if we needed them to cleanse the curse, we could, but the curse isn't gonna kill us. Next floor, we could just um, kill enemies there too. Yeah, 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 I know. Malay's tears increasing. Tell me something I don't know, buddy. What the heck is in here? I mean, honestly, I kind of feel like uh, you're probably going to turn into an elite. I can't get there before you aggro. Wow, you got so much health. I actually ran out of ammo fighting you. <laughs> I still have no ammo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that that doesn't happen that often, where I literally run out of uh, run out of gas. It's been known to happen. Should have just parried. It's like I'm it's like I'm too scared to parry. Oh, me being being scared of dead cells? Oh no. Never, never. Of course not. What do you what do you mean? What lies are these? Well, hopefully there's someone under there. Just a, a regular crowbar. <laughs> like it's not even legendary, it's just a crowbar. Like, please at least give me something. Work with me, game. Work with me. Can you hit the thing? That'd be so nice if you could. Okay, still have no idea where the chest is, but that's fine. 
we'll figure it out. There's uh, a lot of a lot of extra enemies that spawn in. So there's always going to be stuff to kill, even if it is you. Um, the cannon is still great. Ice armor is still good, especially because we know that we're going to be dealing with a curse. After this floor, there's no more guaranteed curses, though, and then we got nothing out of this, unfortunately. Uh, left is just a chest. Lots of chests here. Look. I know. I don't want it. Why do we have two, seven? Oh, because of the amulet. That's right. I do appreciate you dying, friend. Now, please have very few... You're becoming elite. Please have very few training dummies, I say, right as I notice a training dummy right under us. So where the heck is this training dummy? Right there. Had to be dealt with. You also probably have to be dealt with. Actually, you were very easy to deal with. Wow, and you got destroyed. And there was a training dummy and you didn't even do anything. It's like you didn't even do anything. Okay, a little rude. Very rude. It's okay, well, we have the health. What? <laughs> little rude. Got him. Oh, Jesus. Definitely uh, not the elite that you want to see ever, but uh, hey, he was dealt with. Don't normally see an exit and then more level, but there we go. It's, it's weird. It's very strange that this is where they decided to put the big drop, because it, it always exists somewhere on the level. I thought it always existed closer to the, uh, like, the rest of the level, but I guess not. Okay, 32% health, we still have disengagement, and we're gonna be healing 0.45% HP per kill. Hey, you know what, that's only, uh, you know, 20, uh, 30 more kills, 40 more kills to get back up to full health. It's easy. As long as I stagger you in two shots, I'm happy. Okay, <laughs> thank you, shield. That's why I like having a shield, just for a situation like that, where it's like, okay, I'm probably gonna get hit. I can't really dodge anywhere. I might as well just uh, accept that I need to parry to live. There's the cursed chest. Lots of enemies ahead, too. Cursed chest and another scroll. Oh! Yes! Much better Nerves of Steel. It's colorless, which doesn't really matter that much. But at least it is an upgrade. We needed an upgrade. Mad Dog says, I can't stand the Flying Devils. I can't stand them too because I always get hit by them because they're immune to freaking fire. Anytime I try to use fire on them, it's just a massive mistake. Okay, I do not want that uh, elite to aggro. Although I suppose we could aggro him. It's not that big of a deal. Oh god, it is. I have to go. I have to leave. This is like the, I'm, I have to go as far away as possible because this is like the world's worst elite. <laughs> it's the one that kills you. <laughs> With the dang old uh, homing uh, uh, crystals. Oh my god, that is some scary S, you know? Okay, if one enemy spawns and I kill it, like you, then we can we can do this. Okay. I parried him. 
<laughs> That's how fast you can react with this weapon. I need to parry? Okay, hit the button. You got it. Game's being kind. There's nothing. Wait, where are you? Over there. Crystal turret is the worst. Crystal turret is the worst elite. Because if you get that one, you're cursed. What the heck are you gonna do? You know, not die is a, is a good one. But also, like, really hard not to die when you just kind of spawn, like, spawns there? And the turret follows you and then it hits you and it's so small, it's hard to see and... Got him though. We definitely got him though. What do we have here? Just a devil. You though. Probably gonna have a bad time. Okay. Yo, that was not that bad. <laughs> Thank God for the parry, you know? I needed to get some space with those rampaging zombies following me around. I did not see the, uh, the golem chasing me. Okay, okay. I'm curious why you didn't try to pull me to you. It seems to be something that you would normally do. Thank you, cannon. Gotta love the cannon when it works. We should probably think about um, taking some of this stuff. Like, what would, we, what would we like to have in the caverns? Cannon is good. Maybe some sort of like an AOE. No, I don't know. I, I actually kind of do like the idea of Wave of Denial though. I like it because in the caverns, when we kill the Arbiters and they drop a grenade, we can just Wave of Denial the grenade away. So I don't have to get T close, close to it, touching it, and parrying it. I can just wave a denial anywhere around it. Because the cannon, I'm not going to use the cannon that often. I'm just going to use the bow. Ice armor to keep me safe, wave of denial to push things away. Doesn't feel like a bad plan. And then we can get maybe a, a better skill on that floor. Why not eat the food? With necromancy, I'm going to heal to 50%. We'll eat, take the food when we leave the floor. So we don't need to take the food right now. We can save it. 44% health is, you know, that sh should hopefully be enough. Good shot. So we're at 48% health. Almost to our, our cap of 50%, and then we'll take the food, leave, go to the next floor. This is a bad time for the elite to be here. <laughs> Amulet. Extra jump in midair. I mean, until we go to the caverns and get a better amulet, this is as good as it gets, unfortunately. Okay, don't go this way. So we have all these enemies killed. There's an amulet, two stacks of food. Everything is dead on the floor. Let's get the heck out of here, shall we? There's been one heck of a floor, oh my lord. Hopefully we can get a ooh, level 12 weapon in the uh, cavern shop. I would accept, absolutely I would accept a crossbow. Explosive crossbow, nerves of steel. I, I would change up to a, uh, you know, something that has a little bit of auto fire. Maybe we can find a legendary weapon. Maybe we can flawless the boss and get some legendary stuff. I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. But I would certainly love the best possible gear. That's asking for much, I know, but. You know what, I come by it honestly. I just want to be overpowered when possible. 
This does not feel like an overpowered seed, at least. You know, this just seems like a normal seed. We started with a very good weapon, and now we've got to make our own way through life. Now, we want to go... Yeah. One of the highest quality garbage weapons. Except we, we did get a good bow, and we got a colorless bow, too. So it's not garbage. It's just... I failed to get the flawless, and who knows what legendary item could have awaited for us on the other side. No, no, no. Well, useless. Alpha Grenade does 2,000 damage. At max scrolls, it does like 30,000, so it's a big difference. Victims burn when they die, plus damage to an electrified target. Shots pierce the first target. This is probably good enough on its own. I don't know what we would re-roll it into. The, the stats are great. Let's just get the heck out of here. Still have point blank. Point blank is for like... Birds. You know, roll behind him when he attacks and hit him again. Please. I know this level takes a long time to load. <laughs> I'm just saying, please. Okay, not enough to one shot. Hello. Normally, um, there's an elevator here, so to have actual enemies to fight, it's kind of, kind of a new feeling. We get, we get close enough, frequently enough, that um, point blank is going to be worth it. Especially on later fights. Oh, I'm sorry, goodbye! It's bad shooting, <laughs> that's what that is. Oh good, a rat. You actually got your attack animation off, even though you didn't hit me. That's rude. I actually did hit him. <laughs> that shot was just into the wild blue yonder. Couple of more scrolls and we can kill those guys reliably. And with Necromancy, even if we take a few hits, we can heal. Yeah, with, um... We'll, we'll, we'll do this later. With our uh, point-blank shot upgrade, we are able to one-shot things. Which is why I have it. And I'm skipping a lot of these floors just because I want to try to get to the the clusters of enemies fast to try to reduce the malaise fast and also to get to the um, chests just in case there is a cursed chest we had one last time there's a chest here so we'll go take a take a look not cursed I can't remember the last time I found a cursed chest through a door maybe they can't be cursed it would not surprise me if they just literally could not be cursed at all. A little disappointing, maybe, but uh, wouldn't surprise me. Ozuki, not what we're looking for. But at least we're finding stuff. Explored a couple of side passages. You are not trying to teleport to me, which is very, very kind of you, actually. Appreciate that. Oh, now you're now you're doing it. And that bird tried to become an elite as he was chasing me down. Very rude. And there's another bird up there. Very rude. But we'll deal with you later. We have enough um, malaise that their teleportation is very fast, so we got to be very careful about this.
Well, there goes my ability to do the thing I wanted to do. Yep, yep, yep. It's also definitely not what I wanted. Got hit. We can we can come back from that. It's just one hit. Two and two. Take it. Gives us a decent amount of health for now. You gotta go. I don't know why he got up. He was trying to become an elite. I guess maybe me using the scroll or something interrupted his elite becomingness. We're gonna have full HP when we leave this floor too. The malaise is gonna be out of control, but it's already out, getting out of control, so it being a little bit higher doesn't really matter that much, does it? Can almost one-shot you with point blank. I actually really hate these barrel guys. Highly frustrating. Those barrels do a lot of damage. I, I don't feel like they hit me that often, I feel like they're just dangerous. I get scared often. Please go down, thank you very much. You know what, let's do it like this. You don't even get frozen, so the ice armor doesn't really work against you that well, does it? Best burrito, welcome to the stream, great name by the way. I made some pretty good burritos last night. Decided I need to do, to do some cooking. Okay. So you like birds, huh? Hurt you like birds, so I put a bird in your birds so you can like birds while you kill some birds. Whoa! Okay, that was very rude. I took way too much damage there, obviously. <laughs> Disengagement trigger, but we still have one shot. Should have figured it was you when nothing uh, spawned immediately. I would love to be able to actually fall and use my bow instead of mantle. There you go. Yoink! Stay still. This is the exit, so this is the exit teleporter. Are there any enemies that you consider polite? The dancers are pretty polite, you know. They just, they just wanna dance. Oh, Jesus. I get, okay. Well, we gotta go heal now. I, I, the ice protected me from one of the falling projectiles, but not both of them. So we're gonna have maximum malaise, by the way. You know, unless we go to the shop and just wait for disengagement. Okay, please. Please, I just... Help. <laughs> help, help, help. Okay, well, you know what? Can I go to that one? Select. Space. Zoom. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's go to a different one. Let's go to um, let's go to this one. Now, but if we go to this one, we can actually get some work done before we uh, deal with stuff. I want to uh, I want to wait for disengagement to come back, but I also want to check out the uh, shops here. But I can't teleport for some reason. This one just is like in the perfect position to prevent the teleportation. Got him. So let's uh, let's take a look at some weapons here, shall we? Marksman's bow, blowgun. Not looking for these. Magic missile can shoot upwards at an angle. I don't feel like I really need this against the the fight though. Thunder shield is very interesting. There's not a lot of like weird 
animations and timing that we have to deal with on the fight, so I actually do feel like... This could work very well. Also, you can't sh uh, parry dodge roll quickly, but you can dodge roll parry quickly, so... Yeah, I actually feel like maybe the Thunder Shield would be okay. How much damage does our current Spike Shield do? 1800. We got the money for it, let's buy it. And then we can always just swap it out for something else in a second. Like um, a parry shield, which is probably just a little bit better. Because the uh, projectiles are going to be very easily parried. And that's that's fine, that's okay. I was really hoping for an, another bow, obviously, but that's that's fine, didn't get one. Alright, let's, um, let's keep pushing forward. You finally died, thank you. You will heal, oh my god, it's another 50% heal, huh? I mean, I, I love it, I appreciate it. Oh crap. You had to go, because you were an elite. You turned into one anyways. 14% HP, disengagement activated. It's a um, magnificent food gain. Very lucky. Get the damn fragment. We'll go back for the fragments. We got time, we got time. Don't worry about it. I don't even know if the malaise is still increasing. It doesn't matter at this point. What the heck are we gonna do about, about malaise? We're about to eat a, a weird monster's eye and just take the most malaise hit ever. How much damage is this doing? 28,000 right now? Would have hoped it to be a little bit higher, but that's okay. 24% HP, it's fine. We're not grabbing it now so that we can heal naturally. Doesn't really matter, except we're not done with the floor, so it might actually matter. Hey. Oh god, it's this one. What's up? It's a lot of stuff here, huh? He's angry. I'll just deal with you later. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you and your BS right now. You're being shielded and you I can't hit you in the back. And there's another enemy there that spawned. I just want to, like, even if I can just deal with the spawning enemies first by reducing malaise. Then I'll be more than happy to deal with you. To deal with you! Got it. Can't believe we're still summoning enemies, huh? Did we do all this? I think we did. It's not really showing up on the map. But I guess there's nothing up here to do, huh? Alright, what's next? Uh, there's one enemy down there, one enemy down there, a couple enemies up there. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here to deal with, though. And then that's like the last remaining area. We skipped the door. I didn't notice that until just now. Fire blast and face flask. No, thank you. 24 stat solo. There's a few more scrolls here. Um, we've we've have had a lot of stats that we've had to put into other things. Unfortunately, I will acknowledge that. But, I got a great weapon. A weapon I'm very happy about. Maybe that's all we need. Maybe that's enough. Let's go get that scroll now! Hello. I thought I already killed you. There it is. No wonder I didn't see it. It's all the way over here! Oh, come on. 
Get your little flies out of here. Now, what the heck was down here? It's a bird. Oh, good. Good. You know how much I love birds. Malay's cleared. <laughs> and that's a triumphant way of doing it, too. Like, you get the heck out of here. And you were far enough away from your things. Okay, there we go. Now we're at 26. Okay, now we're at 27. No, um, no 4x stat scrolls, unfortunately, but that's, that's fine. Oh, good. I don't even know why I'm killing you. It's not like I get money. <laughs> you should at least get money when you kill them. You know, have them have the items. Last one drops what you, what you had from the chest. Random skills. Your first invisible attack inflicts plus 2,000% damage. We gotta take it. We gotta take it, because this is how we're gonna kill the lighthouse. 16 second cooldown, but this plus the ice armor gives us a big advantage. Goodbye, wave of denial. And do we even need another item, or can we keep the ice armor? We could. I think we should keep the ice armor. The cannon is not going to be good against this next fight. Neither is that. Explosive decoy is always interesting because the bombs that it creates seem to like break damage caps and whatnot. The bleed could be interesting, but it never seems to apply the full bleed stacks. It always seems to only apply a few bleed stacks. We got a lot of health back. Okay, very lucky on that one. Good timing on the dodge roll. Should have. Should not have pressed LT. We got rid of the item two seconds ago. Makes sense. Now, there's only one enemy left, so let's go kill him and then pick up the health. Asserting aura is good on the lighthouse. On the climb? I don't know how good it's gonna be on the climb. Kills walls in the lighthouse. That might be a bad thing though, because if if lacerating aura, oh yo, we got food down here. If lacerating aura kills the walls, then isn't that just going to make it harder for us to climb up ourselves? Feels like that might be the case. We got to sixty <laughs> on that enemy. <laughs> Let's go. You know what? Give me one brutality. I'm not a brutality, you're a brutality, you're a fatality. Sacrifice the baguette for the baguette gods. And we have weapons, we've already done the weapons. Wait, there were three shops. What was in the third shop? That was the weapon shop. The one on the right was a skill shop. Was this also a weapon shop or was this a skill shop? This is a skill shop. I don't really see. You know, I actually do see the Tesla coil being good because it does hit the hands and the eye, I think. But the smoke bomb is still is it's got the one hit potential synergy that I, I enjoy. Are we good? Just do a quick visual check here. Bend through all the doorways. I guess we could go and fight the um, Scarecrow, but I, we've been fighting the Giant a few times recently just to practice the fight, and it's been pretty fun so far. Smoke Bomb, Scarecrow, Parry Shield. Yeah, I'll just go fight the Guardian. We still have point blank. We have disengagement. Um, 
Might be worth going for No Mercy now, just because I would like to get the Flawless here if possible, so consider it. Let's see. Shots pierce the first target. Spreads oil, burns. Generates a toxic cloud around you and starts bleeding when the effect ends. Push back nearby enemies when the effect ends. So we would not mind a uh, a bleeding or poison synergy here. Shut, we don't need piercing all enemies. It's good, but we don't need it. We don't need it. Shots leave flames is good, but we don't need it. Could really use, you know, a green or a red to appear. Okay, damage on a bleeding target, that's good enough. Smoke bomb and ice armor do it, okay. Very cheap. No mercy. Disengagement. Point blank. 79% damage bonus is pretty good. We're gonna be close a lot on this fight. We have the parry shield to parry the projectiles, which will probably kill a hand during that phase of the fight on its own. We've got an LT, we've got an RT. LT is mainly just to do a one shot, like kill a hand, do damage to the eye. Maybe we'll even just save it for the eye. Well, I'm, I'm always this guy fighting the giant. Definitely hit some damage caps there. Told ya. Dude, easy. <laughs> All right. Just like compare that to that one um, heavy crossbow fight I did against this guy that took like a minute to kill a hand. That was just ridiculous. That was so ridiculous. I don't know what bugged out on that run, but that crossbow that we had was just trash. Okay, so the smoke bomb, I'm, I'm noticing it. I'm, I'm recognizing using it here. It has a long activation time because you hit the ground before you, you can move again. So during that half second, I got to be careful. Lightning rods. Flicks 28,000 damage and 11,000 DPS for five seconds, plus damage on a poisoned target. It's actually not that bad, but I really want the um, protection from the ice armor and the smoke bomb because I'm really trying to get the flawless here. And I think a smoke bomb into one of these is probably enough to kill. To kill them, to kill one of them, anyways. This is cool, it's good. I don't think it's good enough though. I, Cause like, I don't know. It's good damage and it's good DOT. But for the climb, I want the protection of the smoke bomb ice armor combo. Cause I'm, tr I'm trying to do this with the ice armor protecting me and the smoke bomb allowing me to kill the enemy extremely quickly. And it kinda is working. It's kinda been working. Now, we're gonna do something else here, too. We're gonna take Disengagement for protection, Necromancy, and should we even take Astronomy? 17, we should take it to stack the damage for the next phase, like why not, right? Even if we only get 34% uh, damage out of it, who cares, it's 30, oh, don't go that way. It's only 34% damage, but it's still 34% damage, right? And if we find both pieces of food, if we find three pieces of food, that's awesome. Three, two, seven, eight, thirty. Welcome to the stream. I finally got my second stem cell while watching. 
Nice. Is that a good seed? Your name in dead? You should um you should see what your seed gives you in dead cells. Do a custom run. Why not? <laughs> six digit seed. You got a six digit name. It's perfect. This is not our like highest damaging run of all time, but we've got all the components of a a good high damage run here. Okay, there's gonna be a thing. It's probably underneath through a one tile wide gap. He's just right there. Not killing you in one shot is incredibly disappointing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I know, dude. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Tactics is where it's at right now. And we will uh, probably backtrack through the entire level looking for the food. What do we got here? Oil grenade repeater crossbow. Wow, really? I mean, that's that's kind of good. <laughs> it's not really what I'm building towards, though. You know, I didn't build Barb's tips. I, I built Smoke Bomb. But we'll see. There's been a lot of off-color scrolls in this run, which has kind of been a little bit disappointing. thinking here because a repeater crossbow is very good damage output but it it's not instantaneous it takes a little bit of time to get out right so wouldn't we be better off with a weapon like we currently have where it's a little bit faster to get the damage output that's what it feels like anyways I love that sound effect. I love uh, murdering that guy like that. That was freaking awesome. Let's see. Just a chest. No cursed chests yet. Blood sword, I'll take it. It's gonna be two food. So now we're looking at, uh, like, what is it, 38%? Da bonus damage, I think. Combined with the... We don't have uh, point blank, but combined with like the 80% from point blank or something. 974,000 damage! <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Dude, we can get over a million easily with the bonuses from the food and point blank. Freaking a million damage. We did 900,000 right there. Goliath Beam, I'm coming for you! A million. We just hit a million. Why is there no achievement for that? There should really be an achievement for that. <laughs> Look, oh, uh, that was not a three hit, that was a two hit kill. in before fire damage. I mean, the, the thing is, this is a good build for avoiding the fire damage because I literally just attack once and then run. Because if I don't kill him in one hit, I'm not gonna stand still and then hit him multiple times. So this actually feels like a pretty good build for the, uh, for dealing with the fire. As long as we can ice him in one shot, we'll be okay. Man, that was a little touch and go there. Should have really just used this, huh? 
Wow. Thank you, Ice Armor. How did I kill him? Whatever, we'll come back. I don't want to deal with this right now. Oh, Jesus. It's like he knows where I am, he just can't hit me. You should do what I do and just fire off into the distance when something, you know, dangerous approaches. Lighthouse servants can be two shot. So yeah, they can, um, when they're climbing, they can't be killed. But they can be brought down to 60% health. I think you can get them lower than 60%, but I don't think you can kill them. But then, in the lighthouse fight itself, you can just once tap him again. And ice armor. I just, I handled that fight very poorly and it saved me the damage. Yo, could you not? Doing 48,000 damage with the bow right now. That's just food, unfortunately, or a gem, unfortunately. I need the food, I want the food. I wanna stack damage bonuses that I can uh, utilize. That was 1.5 million damage, by the way. Did you just YOLO? He just YOLO'd himself. Okay, I mean, yeah, this is um, what we're looking for. And before you ask, I do not believe you can stack the damage bonuses of Smoke Bomb and Grappling Hook. I believe they're independent of one another. But this is the, the Tactics version, you know? Tactics version being Smoke Bomb. I guess Brutality has the Smoke Bomb too, doesn't it? So you can Smoke Bomb or Grappling Hook. I don't know why you would ever wanna smoke bomb, really, instead of the grappling hook. The grappling hook just feels better. Has a, a shorter cooldown. Allows you to change the enemy's position as opposed to have to get into the enemy's position. Yeah, you're not invisible, but, you know, just kill him first, forehead. <laughs> you know? It kinda feels like that, to an extent. Uh, where's our path? This, there's our path. Probably should not have tried to stand a little bit still on that one, but it worked. Ah! So many offhand scrolls, it's absurd. I mean, we have 10 in survival. I didn't put any in survival. It was just the normal scrolls, that was it. Hold on, I wanna look at the map. Not a cursed chest. I was. Kind of hoping, honestly. We're also almost cleansed of malaise, which is kind of crazy. I didn't, no, oh, there it goes. I did not really anticipate having zero malaise leaving, but uh, you know, I'll take it. I do have a parry shield still too. Okay, what do we got? Twin daggers, I'll take them. Blah, blah. You know what, one more scroll for the road. 32. We gained a lot more points than we had earlier. Two million damage, by the way. We were kind of uh, a little low on scrolls earlier. We, we we made it back our deficit, I think. Okay, well. You kind of threw yourself into the spikes. Not recommended, I don't think. What do we got? Wings of the Crow, which I think you can use to cheese the fight to an extent. Probably not completely, but you know, you can be relatively protected while you murder things from a distance. Okay, malaise has been cleared. I am kind of tempted to uh, just backtrack through the level, but let's clean it up first and go to the next shop before we go and look for the other food item. 
There was a food item there. I, I thought that dropped from an enemy, though. That, I could be wrong about that. If it dropped from the floor, that's probably the, uh, the floor food. For this level, anyways. Already dealt with you. This bridge, which always seems to exist in the level. Oh my god, and so much lag. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. I don't think we're going to be using a shield. The explosive crossbow does essentially the same damage as the nerves of steel. I tell you what, I'm going to buy it and put it on the ground. We'll, we'll think about it. As we uh, as we finish this up, I don't know if I actually want the explosive crossbow because the nerves of steel have been great. That will still do an insane amount of damage, and then you've got the the melee attack if you just need to pound someone. Oops. I think the explosive crossbow will do more damage though. Because it's slower, the individual bolts should do more damage. And this has a plus 20% damage modifier on it. The Nerve of the Steel doesn't. It's a higher level crossbow too. We might be able to get more stats rolled onto it if we decide to go down the rolling stat. Crossbow slows. It's not really that important on the boss fights. It's not important on a fight when I want to one-shot everything. Who, wh what do I care if anything is slow if I'm just going to kill it in one shot? But... I mean, you're iced. You go up there, you smoke yourself, they can't see you, do one of these, kill them. Honestly, this is a weird one. I... I don't care. <laughs> Like, they're roughly equivalent in my eyes. They're both great weapons. I don't know which one I would prefer. Because I could use a shield. Yeah, this was just a random food, so there's gonna be more floor food, I think. Um, I don't really care which one I take, because I like them both. The door should be closed. I think the explosive crossbow would do more damage per bolt. And so, in theory, it could be used to do more damage. But Nerves of Steel I've been using up until now, and the crossbow... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's got that too, which is kind of cool. How come it did 80,000 damage <laughs> off of the smoke bomb? <laughs> We gotta, we gotta figure this out, hold on. Maybe he only had 80,000 health or something? It did 80,000 damage. Why is it doing 80,000 damage? Shooting arrow up, is it the shooting of the arrow upwards that's causing a little bit of uh, wonkiness with it? Or maybe, Maybe the arrow is getting the kill, and as a result, I get no damage from the explosive bolts. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. I, I I wonder if that's if that's it. So first things first. Don't die. He's not gonna die. He's strong. Okay, well, I didn't see the number. You damn rat! Whatever, there's floor food, we already found it. And then there's more enemies to kill. Especially you, but you're kind of like off in your own world here. Can I can I get you to aggro me? Yup. Hey, come here. 802,000 damage. Why is this not doing as much? I mean, it's good that we're, we're kind of testing this now. Why is this not doing as much damage as the other one? 
Again, in my head, I was like, oh, these are gonna be roughly equivalent. Maybe they're not. Maybe one is just more substantially better than the other. Okay, where's the teleporter? Shield for Cleo? I'm just gonna run from Cleo, honestly. Because, <laughs> like, if we take this and then we go here to the right, and we check the damage. Yeah, two million. Yeah, this is doing way more damage than the crossbow. I don't really know why. You would you would think that they would do roughly the same because their DPS is roughly the same and they fire at roughly the same rate, but I guess there's something about this weapon that just makes it do a little bit more damage a little bit faster than the other one. Well, we got three piles of food on the ground. That's fantastic. We're done with the floor, we've explored everything, we got the mapping, we're done, we've gotten all of the scrolls. There was a repeater crossbow that we could go back for, but I don't really care about that right now. Let's go. Two food there, one food there. Did you ever find that challenge rune? Um, there's not necessarily one per floor. There's only a chance of it appearing on the floor, so if there was one, challenge rift near portal, says Zurozar. I did not see that message, thank you very much. Um, you know what? Let's do a little bit more exploration then, because if there's a challenge rune, we should definitely do it for one more scroll. You know what? There you go. 300,000 damage. I, I feel like the damage bonus is not working correctly with the Nerves of Steel, but I love it either way. Um, so let's uh, explore some of these. So uh, I know you said challenge rift near portal. I don't, I don't suppose you remember which portal. Where is it? Go in map. Is it right, left, up? Middle, down, bottom. Somewhere in the bottom. Let's check here and then we'll um, sell this too. Because we're not going to be using explosive crossbow. I don't, I don't know why it's not really working as well as I would want it to. Bottom, middle. We like one of these over here. It's a little anchor thing, probably. <laughs> well, it's worth it's worth checking. Something near one of the portals. I don't I don't remember which portal it was, because I didn't really see the message to begin with. What about down here? What's in this shop? Really hope I'm not missing it, but I probably am. I am what I am. What I am is missing it. He's missing it. I wouldn't say he, uh, I was missing it. Okay, let's go get the food and get the heck out of here. Let's go fight this boss. All right. 32 stats. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. But again, we had, did have a lot of off, off scroll. Up here. We have 174 kills. <laughs> By the way, our damage is going to go up quite a bit from this. Which is awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I have to laugh every time I eat the food. Maybe it's me, maybe it's someone else. Maybe it's the food goblin, I don't know. Someone still loves laughing. Okay, ice armor, smoke bomb, shot. Kill anything, it'll kill anything, it'll kill them all. We got plenty of time also to recover. Okay, we're not gonna die because we're gonna kill them. So what do we want? We want gastronomy, we want point blank. And then, um, No mercy. 
We have 8,000 HP. If we get hit once, we're probably gonna freaking die, but also who cares? Does it reset gastronomy? Nope. We still have the damage bonuses. But there's gonna be more food as we travel up, so we will stick with it. Yeah, the sword and three above our head means that we still have the gastronomy bonus. Probably should not have popped that immediately. But I did. There's a long delay between when I can use it again. So like if we get the chance of killing one of them uh, during our climb, we just gotta take it. We just gotta take out one of them and then go up. It seems like she didn't know where I was upstairs. You notice that? Seems like she had no freaking idea. Hey. What the heck? <laughs> what? I killed Calliope! <laughs> She was just hanging out! The fire didn't even go up! Now, I, I don't know if this is gonna bug out the rest of the run, but dude, her being dead is awesome. Too much damage, I guess. Dude, I wonder, I wonder if maybe we one-shot her, like, completely. That would be awesome. Okay. No idea how that's gonna bug out the run. Okay. Hey, welcome. By the way, That did not do as much damage as I thought it would, actually. Got her. Got her, got her, got her, got her, got her. Waiting for the ice armor. Thanks for that clip, because I missed it. Damn, she healed. <laughs> now, here's what I'm, I'm gonna wait for all my skills to come off a of cooldown, because if I can get up there, lure her down, and then kill her, this isn't breaking, the, this is not breaking the fight either. The fight went fine. So if I can lure her down and kill her, I might as well. So I'm gonna wait for my ice armor to come off a of cooldown, and then we only have Cleo if we can kill Euterpe again. Oh my god, I think we can do it. She, she's down in the arena. Hey. Okay. Hey. Got her! <laughs> Number two down! What the hell is going on? There's only one left! There's only one left alive! And it's the one that we run from! Actually, maybe we can kill her, uh in one shot, like go up the left side. She's always on the right. So if we go up the left side with ice armor and smoke bomb already active, we have eight seconds of smoke bomb ability. We should be able to immediately turn around and snapshot her once. <laughs> this is the true way to fight it. This is the best way of fighting it. This is the hardest like individual enemy though. So here's what we're gonna do. This, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't quite work, but 
she's the easiest one to run away from because she doesn't interfere with your platforming. You know, you can just run away from her immediately. She can't do anything. Just keep running. She can't hit you. Get up here. We still have the damage bonuses from Gastronomy going, by the way. So there's our last one. I sold it. I don't know, the, the, I didn't get a damage bonus from that for some reason. I'm still at times four. Okay. What? Hold on. Dude, I don't care. I'll do it. I'll cheese the hell out of this. I don't know where she is. <laughs> what the fuck? This is some speedrunners type BS. She got stuck in a BLJ. <laughs> of course, this is how I'm gonna get the flawless on the fight. Completely glitch out the fight in its entirety. I don't even understand what happened. They just got stuck. They came after me one at a time and then died and then she just had no idea what she was doing with her life. <laughs> she just stood still on the wall. <laughs> oh my god. Tossed right out. Picked a good run to come back for. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Quark, for the gift subs. Put this. This is going on YouTube. I put all my runs up on YouTube, except for the one that I've died on the prison depths uh, due to curse. That one, no thank you. But there we go. The perfect run. <laughs> Oh, she really liked that wall. Yeah, she just like clipped through it and then got stuck. <laughs> now we have to kill the queen and it would be fitting if we could do it flawless as well. But what do I care? We got it. We cheesed the, the crap out of this fight. There was no, there's no reason that this should have worked, but it did. They all got stuck completely. Let's go murder the queen, shall we? and they'll be able to eat the rest of my pizza. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Turned in the blueprints. I forgot. We'll kill the queen, we'll kill the queen. The, I, I, you know what, the blueprints have already been turned in. I think at this stage of the game, they do automatically turn in. Um, for example, the collector blueprints automatically turn in. So I don't have them in my inventory, I assume they've been turned in. Which is weird, because I didn't turn him in, but, um... Can't dodge that. Ooh, son of a... I'm out of ammo. we killed her we didn't floss it but if we still have the blueprints they'll turn in when we finish the run oh my lord Molly's cleared dude <laughs> I'm free my soul can leave my body now can leave this plane of existence all that I had left to do in the world has been completed Oh my god. <laughs> what a what a great great bug. Oh, 
So hey, you know what? Let this be a lesson learned. If you need to flawless them, see if you can't lure them out one at a time. If you've got lucky generation on the level, you can kill them and then they won't leave. <laughs> and then, sorry, and then they, they won't leave to go to the next arena. They'll just stay dead, which is awesome. Now it's Flawless the Collector. Yeah, it is Flawless the Collector, isn't it? But hey, outfits have been unlocked. Well, they've been obtained. We need to pay for them. But we have a thousand cells and we'll do that when we do a next run. Oh my god, you need to copy the seed? Well, um, it's in the video. This is not 229, it was something else. But hey, if you want to do it, there's the seed. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live, support me on Twitch. And I can't talk, I've been talking for nine hours, see you later.